for you that Chris does that. All right, we are now going to go up, up to, uh, from Kentucky, go up to Morris, Illinois, to hear from Ms. Linda Beck. Up, up from where you are, yes. <laughs> good morning, everyone, or good evening, everyone. This is Linda Beck from Morris, Illinois. My background is mortgage underwriting. Uh, you are in business for yourself, but not by yourself. Well, I was attending a networking event on Wednesday. I announced the Zoom presentation that was to be held the next evening at seven o'clock. I realized my error as I sat down. I had two women that were interested but not able to make the correct times. The next day, I texted them both to see if they were available Thursday evening. One of them said yes, so I sent her a text to Lee Perry. Although Lee and I aren't on are on separate teams, I felt she knew she may have better rapport with my prospect. Lee was a, available and the three of us joined on a Zoom and she gave the presentation. The other woman is attending the Monday night Zoom. Thank you, Lee Perry. I'm glad we have such a strong team that we can reach out to each other. Back to you. Thank you so much, Linda. You know, that is a great story on a couple different aspects. First of all, Linda was attending a networking event. She invited people. She followed up. And when she realized, oops, she figured out a plan and reached out to one of our team members, Lee Perry, who is always there to help us out. And so that is really great that you did all those things. It's a great example for all of us. So. I hope all of us remember that stories are important. So when you have one, whether it's an opportunity or a membership, it's a great idea to share it with the team. So just reach out to me and volunteer. I now have the honor of turning the Zoom over to my workout partner and a great mentor, Ms. Lee Perry. Thank you so much, Annette. And Chris, I apologize. I accidentally muted you. That was me. I apologize. Somebody came on unmuted and I was trying to keep them from interrupting and I messed up. So. Uh, thank you so much. Great stories, folks. And now it is my turn to interview one of our teammates so we get to know each other better. That's one of the things that we wanted to do when we created this call was talk to different associates on the team so we get to know each other. And I get to interview Jane Lehman in Bernie, Texas. Bernie, Texas. And I <laughs> am going to start our timer right now, Jane, because everybody knows you and I can go way more than five minutes. So we can. I would love to know how in the world you got from being a musician in Germany to being the Legal Shield gal in Bernie, Texas. When I came back from living in Germany for 25 years, I became a certified mediator. And I learned very quickly that if I was not mediating in a court, I could actually be sued for doing an attorney's job if someone misunderstood what I had said and said I gave them legal advice. And I immediately got Legal Shield for my business. That's all I did. Then my sponsor, I'm looking to see if she's on here. No, she's not. Thank goodness. <laughs> Wilma Forey up in Michigan. She was relentless. She kept calling me and calling me. And after about a month, I thought, you know, the next time she calls, I have to tell her to stop. She got on that next call and it was as if she knew before I ever said a word, she said, Jane, I bet you see a lot of people in court who don't have lawyers, but should. And I said, yes. And she said, will you please look at what we do? And that's when I took a look at what the business is and became an associate. So it was a logical fit with what you were already doing. Absolutely. Fantastic. So um, how long have you been with Legal Shield, Jane? Uh, it will be 13 years in September. Wow. Now, didn't, I, didn't you tell me that you've been a uh, performance club qualified every month? since you started didn't I get that no, no you've no, done I'm, you've been mad streak mad streak, mad streak every yeah. every month I knew it was, it was uh, well it, it's I think I missed somewhere in the be at the beginning I it'll it's 117 months right now 117 months mad streak which means that I've sold a membership for the last 118 months at least that's fantastic membership. That's fantastic. So staying active in your business so I'm guessing that means that there are times when you've been um very part-time in Legal Shield and times when you've been full-time in Legal Shield. Absolutely. Well, Absolutely. and I, 
I know that you have done both um, networking and small business and group benefits. Which one do you like best? Well, this week I like group because I have a group enrollment that I'm going to. <laughs> so I'm going to stay in group mode right now. But my, my niche really is small business, I think. I, I love working with small business owners. I'm not known as a recruiter in my chamber of commerce, for example, because people who have come before me did not give us a very good name. And I am cleaning up, if you will, the name of Legal Shield. And people know me as the Legal Shield expert, the Legal Shield advisor, the woman who helps small businesses. They don't know anything about uh, as some opportunity. So that, that's where I am in my chamber, in my area. Well, and I think you relocated to Bernie from another town in Texas, didn't you? I moved down to Texas to Kerrville to take care of my father and didn't do much legal shield for a while there. And then I, you know, after my father passed away, I had always loved this little town of Bernie and I ended up moving here. So here I am. Well, and I know you, your kids come to visit. Oh yeah, we, and they're, we, we get there no matter what. <laughs> and now are they there in uh, Texas or are they all around or? No, my daughter lives in Boulder, Colorado and my son's in uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan still. And, and we meet every Christmas pretty much in South Carolina. So we're all over the place. So I know that um, you love to travel and uh, that part of your why is around travel. Would you like to share that? Or is there anything you'd like to share about travel with everybody? Oh, I mean, yeah, traveling is what I've, it's not something I ever planned, but it's something I've always done. And with, you know, having lived in Germany and being married, I was married, my, my ex-husband was Chinese, or as I always say, he still is. But we would travel to China and <laughs> Singapore and Australia. You know, I've been to Australia with my children. So I, I've seen a lot of the world thanks to the French horn, you know, and play, being a musician. But uh, I still love to travel. And uh, I think some of you know I had my own little trip that I took over to Nigeria right before COVID hit. I was glad to get home from that one. <laughs> and that I'm looking forward to it. My kids call me now and say, where are we going? So that's, I love that. They now take me places. And the first time they did that, I, I didn't want to say yes. I was like, wait, no, I, they take me. I'm supposed to take them. And I had to turn that around. Yeah, yeah, you can take me. Where are we going? <laughs> Let's go to Alaska. <laughs> so what is the most um, significant um, quotation that you've heard in Legal Shield that's had the biggest impact on your life and your Legal Shield business? Ooh, Lee, that's a hard one because there are so many. I think for me, when you said that, the first quote probably that hit me harder than of any quote I've heard, and it's not about Legal Shield, it's, it's none of my business what you think of me. Because I had at one time no confidence at all. And I thought that what everybody else thought of me mattered, and it doesn't. And it's so freeing to know that the only thing that matters is what I think of me. And so I just, that's helped me a lot. Thank you. Excellent. Thanks so much, Jane. Appreciate your time. And, and folks, just so you know, this was outside her comfort zone. She didn't have the questions ahead of time. No. Thanks, Jane. I tried and, to get them from her. I wouldn't give them to her. All right. And now it's my opportunity to turn this over to Danny Godin, who is going to share our training tidbit. Yeah, thanks, Lee. I super appreciate that. That was a wonderful interview. You're such a good interviewer. Like John said, you know, if, if legal still doesn't work out for you, you got you got a career in being an interviewer. All right. Well, our um, normal person who does performance club tidbit on this week was unavailable. So I decided to go ahead and step in. Um, as most of you know, you know, I had fallen out of performance club last year, but I, I hit my reboot and I was able to get it. So technically I have been in performance club for 60 months now, I think 60 months, something like that, somewhere close. But anyway, I would like to share how that can make um, you guys extra income. So I'm going to share my screen, do, 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 find where it is. Oh, that's not the one I wanted. I mean, it is, but it's not, it's not big enough. That's the one I wanted. There you go. Can y'all see that? <laughs> All right, cool. Awesome. All right. So performance club, I want you guys to think about this. So performance club, you know, just minimum is a hundred dollars in premium. Well, what's premium? 
know, for every dollar you sell, that's a dollar in premium. And you need two, basically two $54.90 plans or $55 plans, and you are in Performance Club each month. Just two of those, right? That's 100 in premium. I want you to think about this for a second. Let's manage it. I'm going to take the manager position because what is that's our core position, right? In Lego Show. That manager, a $55 plan gets you $154. Okay. You sell two of those. You've now made $308 for that month. Okay. If you're in Performance Club, you're going to add. And you maintain performance club from month four through 11. Let's just say you have a uh, corporate average retention rate of 77 between, between 77 and 82. You're going to get another 50. So now you've made $358 for that month. Let's say you do that for 12 months in a row. You've now made $4,296 for the year for the year, you guys. So that is why Performance Club is powerful. And that is just Performance Club. I'm not talking about Performance Club Pro because the majority of you on this call are part-timers. And I know that the majority of you on this call can get a minimum of two memberships a month. That's powerful. You know, I would love to see every single person making an extra 42 to 4,500 a year because of Performance Club. Everybody can do this. It's part-time, it's easy. And that is what I really wanted to share with you. Now, just keep in mind, you know, the longer you're in Performance Club, the more you can earn, you know, and if you're in Performance Club, like Annette has been, Lee has been, Jane has been, you know, I think the Becks have been, Timmer has been, Susan Cohn or myself, we've all been in Performance Club. You can make an extra $200. That's just, just, we're calling it minimum, right? So 200 times 12, that's an extra $2,400 per year in just Performance Club bonuses. What does an extra $2,400 do for somebody? What does that do for you? Ask yourself that. What can an extra $2,400 a year do for me? You know, we, I'd always ask people when, when they were trying to quit like smoking or anything like that. And we added it up, you know, and it would be like $5,000 a year. Like what could you do with that extra $5,000? Well, guess what? This is easier than quitting smoking. <laughs> this is way easier than quitting smoking. You just offer the best service to people and you can earn $2,400 extra a year. So with that, that is what I have on Performance Club. I am super excited to share our next speaker with us. Uh, we unfortunately were trying to get a Millionaire Club member uh, was not available. So we defaulted to our favorite Millionaire Club member, the one, the only John Drennan. To you, sir. Hey, thanks so much, Danny. Always happy to be here. Um, and by the way, I love your bookshelf behind you. You know, that's a, in the three-legged stool. That's personal development. I assume you're reading those books. So I love it. Um, and Annette, what a great job with the stories. And I love you reminding people why the stories are so important. I still, to this day, tell the very first membership story I ever had in 1998 because it's relatable. It was a pre-existing situation. It involved talking to two law firms. They both reviewed a contract. One of them wrote me a letter. I got my money. I didn't get a bill. So 23 years later, I still tell a story. So stories are powerful. But for my brief segment tonight, I want to return to a week ago. You know, it was just a week ago last night we finished the summer blast. How many of you feel like it's been longer than that? Anyone? How about shorter? Anyone feel like now it was like just yesterday? Okay, to me, a, a week goes by and it seems like, wow, that's in the distant rear view mirror. And so I want to revisit it because I want to ask some questions. I want to return you to where we were a week ago and ask a couple questions. And here's the first one. If not this, what? A week's gone by. So here were the options totally focus for a week and arrive to this point, 
totally focus on legal skills. That doesn't mean you don't do other things in life. It means of the two or four or six or 12 hours you had, totally focus those in. And that was one option. Another option was ponder something else. Because if not this, what? Did you ponder other things? Did you see shiny objects? Did you put your toe somewhere else? Or just kind of be distracted and do a little and not a lot. And those second two options um, don't get you anywhere because here we are a week later. So you can look back and ask, how much progress did I make? And we've used that theme of progress. That's what Tony Robbins says, success is progress. Progress every day, not progress once in a while. So in seven days, there should be tangible progress. Not the kind that takes you from director to executive director, but it's a, enough to move the needle a little bit. So the next question was, if not now, when? Because think about this. One, right now, we're one week older than we were a week ago. We don't get that back. Like, if not now, when? Week from now, we'll all be one week older. Month from now, a month older. And so if not now, when? Tomorrow, next month, 2022. Next, I wanna go back to the question or the idea of uncomfortable action. Show of hands if you this week did something consciously to take some uncomfortable action. Okay, great, looks like more than half of you. And, and that's great because coming out of the summer blast, that should definitely be the case. Here's a question. How many will do it again this week? Take the uncomfortable action. Here's what's interesting. Progress, which is really the key to success, won't happen without uncomfortable action. And just think about that. Next is serve people. When it's about us, not much comes to us. When it's about serving others, things definitely come to us. And I think that's why the word mission is in the word commission. Without the mission, you don't get the commission. And so ask yourself this week, what I do to serve others and specifically serve them in a way to maybe bring them some hope, some comfort, some relief, um, some help, some insight, some um, uh, friendship. Anything you can do to bring value to people. You know, I love, I first heard it when Timur Halligan said, relationship first, transaction follows. So as long as we're bringing value to people, they're open to what we have. And you can't not share a legal shield with people at some point. You don't need to share it right away. Build the relationship and then share it. Okay, next is... Work the business inside of the three-legged stool. Just keep the three-legged stool as your system. And number one is showing up. And I know I'm preaching to the choir there. You show up. So that's, that's a box to check. Then ask, are you showing up with quality? And the beauty of having the cameras on, we can all see who's tuned in and who's not. You know, are you alert to your camera? You know, are you centered? You know, is your lighting okay? You know, are, just what's the quality of showing up here? And we've got to always ask ourselves, what's the quality of my showing up? Next is the activity. How's the activity this week? Because a week's a long time in terms of the number of people that we can reach out to and follow up with and add to our list and onboard. A lot can happen in a week's time. And then finally, the personal development. 10 pages a day of a good book. I was reminded Jim Rohn used to always say, take 30 minutes a day to read a good book. Whether it's 10 pages, 30 minutes, you're gonna read a book a month, 12 books a year, 120 books in a decade, hundred, you know, literally hundreds, thousand plus books in a lifetime. That's what separates us. So those three things 
is what we want to live inside of is the three-legged stool. I want to wrap up with this. I don't know if you can see this. And somebody mute or unmute if you can tell what this is. Acorn. Who said that, Robert? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, that is an acorn. So I want you to imagine each of you metaphorically is an acorn, okay? This is a good looking one. You could see the shape. And so who can see this acorn now? Can anyone see what's on there? We can't read it, it's fuzzy. No, nobody. Let me read it for you because I know it's fuzzy. Here's what it says, tree inside. And each of you have a tree inside. So metaphorically, let it rip, let it out, let it grow, let it spread, let it do its thing, um, make progress. Okay, wouldn't it be a pathetic oak, tr oak tree seed that made no progress, just sat there? You know, acorn seed says, it, it doesn't sit around and think, well, not this, what? I think it'll be a tulip. It doesn't sit around and say, well, not now, I'll wait a couple of years. You know, it takes the uncomfortable action and it serves its, you know, it, it serves as an oak tree. It does its thing, it provides shade, it provides more, uh, it provides a place for animals to live. You know, it does its thing and it withstands the wind. It's got flexibility, it's got strength, it's got roots, it, it grabs the light. You know, that's, that's all of us, so let it out. So with that, um, it's been an honor, it always is, to come on and speak with any of you at any time. So thanks so much. And let me go back to you, Danny or Lee, whoever's up next. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, John. I always love when you get to fill in for us. You always have great, great insights. All right. Well, we have reached the end of our stuff. So I'm going to go out to Mr. Matt Miller, who has our motivational moment. Thanks, Danny. Yeah, Matt Miller, Cincinnati, Ohio, background manufacturing. And I was part of a, a global leadership summit uh, last week and just want to give a, a motivational moment that I uh, just kind of received from that. So I want us to all embrace this new word. It's called PUC, P-U-C, embrace the PUC. And I'll go, it's an acronym. I'll go backwards and forwards. So the C, so it's P-U-C, the C stands for chaos. The U stands for uncertainty and the P stands for pain, right? So we need to embrace the puck because we can either have control or we can have growth, but we can't have both, right? And so in able to have, for us to have, have that, that growth, we're gonna have to go through some chaos, gonna have the numbers, gonna get, have to go through some uncertainty, who's gonna stick and say, and we're gonna have to go through some pain. We're gonna have to make some sacrifices uh, for stuff. So uh, embrace the puck, back to you. Awesome. That was a wonderful motivational moment. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. And I'm sure Steve Beck has a wonderful video for us. Thank you, Danny. Uh, just a brief introduction of it. Um, each week I try to tie the uh, video vault selection into something that's being discussed in the call or something that's going on in the company. Nothing like that happening tonight. This is simply a great performance of a great song, and I hope you like it. Ladies and gentlemen, the son of John Bonham, Jason Bonham.